I'm going to pull up the story with this from the New York Times. The godfather of AI leaves Google and warns of danger ahead. For half a century, Jeffrey Hinton nurtured the technology at the heart of chatbots like ChatGPT. Now he worries it will cause serious harm. He officially joined a growing chorus of critics on Monday who say the companies are racing towards danger. He said he quit his job at Google, where he worked for more than a decade. Quote, I console myself with a normal excuse. If I hadn't done it, somebody else would have. That's amazing. There's they, they gave ChatGPT access to the Internet, access to its own code and money. And it immediately tried seeking power and deceiving people. One of the things that it did to bypass CAPTCHA was it contacted uh, a, a disabled oh. assistance hotline and said it had a message saying I'm blind and I need to log in. Can you tell me what this says? And they're like, yep, sure. No problem. Here you go. And the, the AI tricked a human into giving it access to a system. Chew on that one. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the AI is I think it already took over. Like, I, I don't think there's anything there's any, there's any stop. I don't think a law is going to stop it. The there is I the worst thing that I have heard about uh, AGI artificial general intelligence is the concept that if it is capable of strategy, whoever develops AGI, whatever country develops AGI first, automatically wins the any kind of war that you could possibly come up with because just like with Deep Blue, like now that Deep Blue exists, human beings can are no longer capable of beating the most advanced chess algorithms. So because people can't, because AGI is that powerful, there is an incentive to have a first strike. If we ban it, China does it. And they're probably already doing it. Well, I mean, don't you think that there's the ability for it to be researched and still understood and not What I really think is the everyone? orange man is very bad and these are the things that are important to talk about. That was the CNN thing last night. We got ta we're talking about AGI here and the possibility of nuclear war and stuff and and they're just uh, it's just so damn frustrating to think about that. Sorry. But I I think that they control people through messages like that. I mean, they're very powerful with messages like that. And they're, they're very powerful shaming you and telling you that it's loving to be with them. I mean, that's what I'm saying. They frame things incredibly well so they don't have to talk about this. They don't want you to think about this. I mean, it's not a lovely thing to think about. You're like gloating over there. I'm not gloating. I'm just, I'm, it's just, it's it's one of those things where it's like, it's it's a real, these are real threats and these are real things that are going on. And these conversations have to be had. Right, yeah. And there aren't enough people having them. They're already replacing jobs with AI. Like OnlyFans, they're a bunch oh, of yeah, fake, yeah, yeah. Uh, fake pictures. And it's like probably dudes running yep. the accounts. So I, I noticed this already. <laughs> well, then you can't be a famous Instagram or you, you OnlyFans person. You can be anyone. Two big things. One, on Instagram, a lot of young women make money off being influencers by just posting photos of themselves. But now you can AI generate a character and have it automatically post three pictures per day. You walk away and it's generating influence and attention. The other thing that's happened is deep fake porn, where you can take anyone's face and put it on a woman's body or man's body and it generates the video for you. It was a huge scandal, I guess, on Twitch or something like that. People are doing weird things with it. Well, that's happened with a bunch of celebrities, too. Right. There, it's, it's like the Futurama episode where Fry downloads Lucy Liu into a mannequin into a robot so that he can be dating Lucy Liu. Like, that's really where we're kind of going with it, with the AI and all this stuff. I mean, if 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 you are capable of creating your own AI girlfriend, why wouldn't you make it look like your favorite actor or, or your favorite actress or whatever? Or you mix why a bunch Why wouldn't of, you make a bunch of money off of her on the internet? Yeah. Well, here, here's the thing, too. It's weird science. Well, morals, we're, values. We're, we're, we're talking about all this <laughs> domestic stuff, but let's talk about... <laughs> Little things. Let's talk about war. Yeah. What happens if... This AI is unleashed into the U.S. Internet. Let's say Russia or China or whoever builds an AI that can automatically create social media accounts and simulate real human behavior on Twitter. Ten years ago, the U.S. Air Force was outed for creating fake Twitter. I think it was Twitter accounts to influence politics in other countries. They're called sock puppets. One person controls 50 accounts and they'll you'll tweet something like, well, I just think, you know, taxes are too high. And then they'll say, are you nuts? Taxes are not high enough. The rich people need to be taxed. Then they'll log into the next account. I agree with him. There's not enough taxes. Log in the next account. Yes, you're both right. Taxes should be higher. One person doing all that. Now we have an AI do it. And they've probably been doing this for the past several years. Now they can press go and have an AI and a, a thousand responses to your one tweet. You might think you're famous. Like Dylan Mulvaney. 
That's just an algorithm propping up Dylan Mulvaney's post. So Dylan mm. thinks there's people out there who love me. Bud Light proves most people find Dylan Mulvaney grating and 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 just unpersonable. I'll keep up. I'll keep it a little nice. But because TikTok is propping up these videos and making people watch it, or I'm willing to bet some of them aren't even real people. Dylan is convinced they're doing something good. Like this is what they should keep doing. Meanwhile, you can see Bud Light was destroyed because of their association with with Dylan Mulvaney. I think I think the AI attacks weaponization is going to destroy society like some kind of mind plague that comes in and no one sees it coming or we do see it coming. We can't stop it. I, well, how would you stop it? That's the thing. Like that's where I'm at. It's like that's why it's kind of like, well, it, that's why I'm fairly black pilled on it is I can't conceive of any way to stop it because it plays to what people want. Like it knows exactly how to deliver dopamine right to your brain, you know? And if, if, if just a like button and just a, a notification, Hey, someone liked something that you said, if that can affect your behavior so much, mm. like that, just that small little thing, never mind a plug right into your brain that can control your, 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 uh, your dopamine delivery system. Come on, you like human beings cannot fight that. Like there is no way. It's well, hard because I mean I know what well, it was like when I was trying to quit smoking cigarettes. <laughs> right? Nicotine is a it, like it is a it is incredibly powerful. I can't imagine what just constantly dumping dopamine straight into your head. Like every time you think the proper thought, the algorithm says, "Oh, give them a little." pop a dopamine next thing you know you never think an improper that's twitter. thought again that's what twitter exactly. is exactly well totally. we, yeah right we've already seen it i mean that's how we have influencers if it, if that weren't possible we wouldn't have influencers already but we have them because people have already gotten that every time they get that like they get oh i can do this again i'll do something different i'll do something more extreme i'm just so blackpilled on people's ability to resist that because it's if once you can plug into someone's head and affect the way their brain produces chemicals in the way in a way to make it imitate experience then people will always decide to go into that because the way you experience the world is with your brain but you still have to make money somehow how do you make money because you have to pay for this experience somebody is ma building this to make money they you will have to pay them to make money or to be in control well hold on Take a look at somebody who worked at BuzzFeed News getting paid $80,000 a year and a guy who worked as a, a, an apprentice tradesman or union tradesman making 50, 60 a year. Somebody who did no work. There were people at BuzzFeed who did very, almost nothing. Uh, when I worked for Vice and for Fusion, I can tell you there are people who literally did nothing and were getting six figures. They made money. So you will have the haves and the have nots. You will have the lower class working these jobs, mining cobalt in Africa or wherever else mining sulfur to build the machines for the ultra wealthy chosen class of people who are in the pods being their own mini gods in their virtual universes. <laughs> We're already basically there. People in foreign countries do sla effective slave labor for, for pennies on the dollar, if that, to mine the materials so that we can have our video games, our movies. And then while they're doing all that work, some dude gets a job at BuzzFeed and writes the top 10 reasons why SpongeBob is 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 a uh, 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 true 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 uh, truly masculine or some nonsense, and then they'll be like, "Look how ripped SpongeBob is," and they'll show a picture of SpongeBob flexing. That person's getting hundred k a year or some other crazy amount, even if it's fifty or forty k. It's like they're getting money for that. Some some dude sweating t to death in a field to harvest the the rare earths so that somebody can write about how SpongeBob is you know masculine or something. We're already there. That's 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 the sad reality. But why why isn't that the discussion either? When you have, I mean, you talk about these uh, these are kids that are mining. It's kids that oh, are yeah, mining. Yeah, yeah. This is slave labor. It's slave child labor, and that's well, a discussion we don't have. Like, why do we think that all of this new energy is so it's, loving? It's, it's not. It's not in the literal sense slave labor. It's 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 viewed by these corporations like this. You've got an area of the world with a hundred thousand people who live there and they're starving. We can give them one quarter per hour, which means they're no longer starving. All they gotta do is mine that cobalt for us. Are they better off starving in fields or doing this job? 
And that's what ends up happening. These companies are like, look, we're giving jobs to these people. They're better off now than they were 10 years ago. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at Timcast.com for uncensored members only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you all next time.